G'day and thank you for joining me. I'm Faintly Saintly and today we're looking at the demo for Granvir or Granver. I'm going to say Granvir, it sounds better. This is basically an action roguelike or roguelite. It's about mech building. It looks a lot like uh, Mech Warrior with a third person perspective. But the hook here is that uh, as you fight, you basically collect parts to upgrade your mech. So it sounds quite interesting. So I haven't given this a go yet, but we're going to have a look here. So again, this is just the demo. The full release is. Uh, I think slated for quarter four in 2024. So it looks like there's a handful of campaigns you can unlock in the full game. Millennium Horizon is what's in the demo. A foreign military force breached their lines with the help of local resistance and destroyed the terrestrial command center. Sounds good. Pilot select. Hero, ace pilot who serendipitously arrived on the doorstep of the resistance. No reputation. One marked supply pod and one unmarked supply pod are hidden in each mission's field. Okay. Mercenary. Plus 200 reputation with marketplace. Collects two times the credits from bounties and side objectives. Okay, I think I'll just start with the hero. Sounds a bit more simplistic. Difficulty. All right, lots of things to consider here. I think I'm just gonna start on normal just to get into it and work out what's going on. Click an available part to add it to your Granvir. This list displays all compatible parts in your depot. Adding a part to your Granvir automatically selects the first joint. Click an available part to install a torso. You need legs, a torso, and a reactor. There we go. Add a reactor by clicking the available part. This list displays all installed parts and empty ports on your Granvir. Press the icon next to an empty port to display a list of parts that can be installed. None, none, none. Here we go. The Mark 1 port. Click a part to install one of the available part options. Only parts of the compatible port type are displayed. What was that, a gun? Nice. And a laborer. Okay, you can remove. Controls, that might be good to study. All right, primary is secondary. <laughs> Dash is space, fire is primary. Okay, so the gun is left click. The laborer right arm is right click. Utilities are jump, control, kick, F, reload, R, strafe, Z. Jump, kick, okay, I'm definitely not going to remember that straight away. Anyway, let's get on with it. Welcome to the outpost. Before every round, you'll be able to perform various activities at the outpost. So mechanic, there's a marketplace. Many activities require hours to perform, time to perform. Okay, let's go. Move items between your inventory and the outpost depot. When you're finished, you can deploy. So what can I actually do as a mechanic? What does he do for me? Modify, repair, tune up until the end of the next mission, that's pretty cool. Paint it, there we go. Oh man, I could uh, could spend some time here. Let's just make an ugly neon pink thing. Beautiful, all right. Marketplace, I have, I do have money. Inventory, uh, scrap metal, a few extra pieces. I only have 50% ballistic ammo. Ballistic ammo, ballistic ammo. 10,000 credits to fill up my ammo. I, I actually don't know how important that is. I'm going to try it anyway. All right, let's get into a mission. Region map. This is your current location. Select a valid destination by hovering its icon and clicking. 
Uh, so what's that, a rainy farm or a forest? Go on the rainy farm. Trouble. Takes nine hours, I'll get there at 8 p.m. Okay, well, here we are. It's certainly raining. WASD, well, that mouse sensitivity is a bit high. C to toggle a textile. The right click is punch. I can do uppercuts or I can do like jabs. And stomp cars, that's, that's good. Control was jump. F was kick. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse you. Okay. That was a bit rude. Came out of nowhere. Is there another one? Oh, what is this? It's hard to see with all the rain. I get that kick button. <laughs> okay, I'm a mech kicking the crap out of little spider mechs. Love it. Um, I need to get out of here before I regret it. Okay, we've got a star over there. We've got a question mark and a question mark. I hope the bitrate for this video is okay. There's a lot, uh, a lot going on with this rain. Somebody just shoot at me. There's little people down there. I, uh, uh, okay, yeah, I was just thinking, hang on, are these guys bad or good? But no, they don't like me. Can I ignore them? I'm going to try. See what this question mark is. Oh, we got snipers in the buildings. I hear another... Yes, I do. Cop that. Alright. Here we have... A... Hanger. Select items to add to your cargo hold. Scrap metal, used for repairs. A shoulder cannon. A component crate. An unknown part. Or ammunition. How do I see my ammunition? Uh, oh, yeah, 1 out of 94. I think that's okay. I'm going to grab a shoulder cannon, I guess. Oh. Oh, I don't have to pick. Okay. That's even better. So. How do I open the crate? I can't. Transfer to cargo hold. Parts. Here we are. No, no, I can't change that in the field, obviously. Okay, I'll figure that out. I keep moving. There's another mecha in this corner. Get punched, idiot. Reload. Okay. 
Hey, hey, hey. Stop that. Wait, is that another enemy one? No, he didn't seem bothered. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, supply pod. A medium weight torso with two cannon ports. Okay. So another torso and some different legs. Right. Well, that's um, promising. So hopefully that means I can uh, find some parts that will let me move a little bit faster because this is slow. More legs. And... Oh, I'm full. I don't need those legs. Maybe I'll take this torso. Okay, reach extraction, which is this. Hey now. Oh, the little self destruct. Okay. Pink monstrosity has made it to the end. Local resistance cells recognize your efforts and can spare some parts for your operation. Choose one part. Another reactor. More legs. Or a little sidearm. Firearm. There we go. So, communicator. First check in. Still alive? Mostly. You can replace damaged parts or repair with scrap. Any ideas for avoiding company forces? Stick to the forest and farmlands to avoid the most heat. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see here. I need to go to the mechanic, don't I? Uh, we'll modify. Install parts, the side story. Cool. Transfer install part items from the inventory to the depot. Oh, I see. Right, all parts are available now. So I've got a groundskeeper, I can swap that for a Grenheiser. Which is the same vitals, stronger hull, stronger armor, same visibility, same arm ports. Okay, modified. Sturdy but ill armored. So I probably should upgrade to this. We've got the homesteader, which is damaged. Zero armor, top speed 800. Road speed plus 15, oh, they're the same. Still. I'm going to swap that out because it's not uh, damaged. Sounds good. How am I going for ammo? I'm 87%. Fires medium ballistic ammo. So I need to buy some more ammo now. From the marketplace. Munitions. Medium. Uh, I have 18,000 credits, okay. Ground breakers, okay. Marketplace, what else can we do? Weapons, scrapyard. Search the local scrapyard for the potential to find use, usable scrap or a functional gravnir part. Destroy unwanted parts and receive credits and scrap. So it said I had like eight hours left. So you do have a time, time and money to manage. I think I can spend two hours to salvage. I found some scrap metal. Found some scrap metal. So I can repair with scrap, can't I? It's going to cost me quite a lot. 
Oh, these two aren't installed. So what? How do I know how damaged they are? I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, just let that go for now. I'm going to deploy. So I can't go to the mountain. I can't keep going through the rainy farmland. And see what happens here. Okay, here's the drop off point. We have points of interest all over the place. That looks like the end goal over there, so I'm going to just check this out first. aiming of that uh, new sidearm isn't fantastic, but it's useful to have. Very nice. A reactor and more arms. I suppose I'll just take them back. Even if I don't end up using them. I can scrap them or sell them. What's in here? Ah, uh, oh, the scrap metal is actually part of my cargo. I'm going to chuck the arm out. Let's see what's in here. A honeycomb melee weapon. Interesting. Probably won't use that at the stage. So you can sort of see the roguelike elements coming through now, or roguelite if you prefer. Um, obviously there's like an instant stop area, it's a little bit randomly generated, a few little points of interest. Enemies will spawn and attack. You have to manage your resources and fight them off and slowly, incrementally become more powerful. And uh, make your way towards the goal at the end of the campaign, which I assume is taking down this company. Oh. I'll kick him. <laughs> dead. You are. I'll kick you too. What have we got in here? A buckler. A handheld shield. That's interesting for a mech. A weapon crate. More ammo. Can I take this? Nice. I'm going to leave... Oh, I didn't open the component crate. I'm going to leave the strike, I think. I'm going to take the weapon crate. Okay. And there's the exit there. So I'm going to get out of here before anybody else turns up. They're relatively short little instances if you really beeline the exit. But I suppose you want to be fighting for one of those resources and getting new gear, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to... How do I find these? Oh, here we go. Unpack the component crate. And I got a Grand Hill Flags. Unpack the weapon crate. And I got Grindes Mounted Cannon. Ammo efficient. Rapidly fires lighter projectiles with a small explosive blast. Fires without reloading. Utilizes heavy ballistic ammunition. That sounds pretty good, actually. So if I... 
What do I do? I'm going to... Uh, actually, I'm going to go to the munitions. And I'm going to... Actually, no. I'm going to go to inventory. Check out ammo I've got. 76% and 57%. So the heavy is okay, but the medium runs out a bit quicker. Purchase that, no worries. Now let's go modify. Transfer all inventory parts. I can swap that side gun for a honeycomb melee weapon. I don't think I will. Um, the laborer, I'll swap for... An, uh, so if I swap this gun for another mounted cannon, maybe I'll swap the other one for a mounted cannon, which is the Bryn Mark. So, slow, single explosive shot, 96 damage output. That one seems, uh, I'm going to try it, I'm going to put this in there. Okay, and then repair. Hull 373. Okay, none of that really needs the repairs, to be honest. As far as I can tell. Could be missing something very obvious. I'm going to salvage some scrap metal. Pop that over there. Just seeing what how I use that scrap. Handle repairs of your Granvir parts if you can supply the credits. Hmm. Lay low. Clears the current threat level. Let's move on. Um, okay, light industry. So they said that was more dangerous. There's more to protect there, so there'll be a higher enemy presence. But I am sick of walking through raining farmland, so I'm going to check it out. Okay. Okay, we've got some uh, equipment right in front of me here. Also an enemy. What have we got here? Courier and turtle arms. Quick attacks, lightweight. High mass armature built for durability. Ooh, speed boost legs. Yes, please. That would be fantastic. Oh, it's not like shooting at me. It's just me knocking over trees. Uh, there'll be enemies in these. Oh, I'm being surrounded. Kick, kick. This is going to be a bit scary. I'm sure I like this uh, weapon loadout I've got quite as much as it as I did before. That's okay. Um, so I believe I'm nearly dead. After that little ambush, so I need to be 
careful. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe that is the right-hand side of the heads-up display there. Oh, I've also got, yeah, 280 hull up the top, 37 armor. I don't know, vitals are okay, but they've damaged the hull quite a bit, so... Oh. Take that. How's the ammo situation? Not too bad. Okay. Ah, these are the legs I started with, and they had speed boost 3 as well, so maybe that's not what I think it is. There's that little um, dash thing. Maybe it's related to that. Oh, what is this? Rude. I'm getting shelled. Cargo crate. Can be stored in place of a weapon. Gotcha. Enemy intel. Decrypt from the depot at the next rest area to reduce escalation by one and gain 50 reputation resistance. Ceramic plates. Interesting. I'm going to drop these legs and grab that weapon crate, I think. And then get out of here before I get jumped again. Glad I've still got most of my ammo. Are you friendly? Nope, you are not. Where is it coming from? A claymore. Two handed melee weapon, that's interesting. Hornet nest shoulder cannon. A barrage of lock on missiles. That's interesting. I need to repair, most likely. It's going to cost me a thousand to repair that. I can't see how or where that is damaged. So maybe I just won't. Uh, I do want to check my parts here. Legs. Something with a courier. Okay. Here, T1 armature, weak melee. I've got a T2 turtle, high mass built for durability, additional armor bands. This one is additional shoulder armor and a combat jaw. Delivers massive damage on impact with a high heat cost. Hold the bound control group during contact to clamp the jaw. That's Interesting, okay. I think I'm gonna grab the turtle. Which is cool, that unlocks a new port for me, not that I can fill them. Oh, it's because I replaced the wrong hand. There we go. Uh, what time have I got? 1800. I'm going to 
premium salvage. Browse a selection of low quality components to salvage. The scrapyard always contains one of each major component type. That's interesting, but why do I want these? Don't quite get that. I suppose I'll just salvage for a couple of hours. I'm going to, oh, I need to open my crates. A Bryn Mark, T1 mounted cannon. And another T1 mounted cannon. So can I scrap that here? No, I need to go to the scrap. I'm just gonna check that really quick. Modify, get rid of the Grindez or whatever it is. Uh, no, the port. No. Nope. I could try that, I suppose. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep salvaging. Stock metals. Oh, that's how you use them. Okay. Well, I don't need to repair now, but that's really good to know. <laughs> Maybe I'll just see if I can afford some uh, heavy ammo. Well, Lance. A snowshoe, short sword. Hmm. May as well buy the ammo. And move on canyons or farmland but company fortifications dot the farmland tended by local groundbreakers there's a resistance cell and an ace panther ah okay that's interesting let's check it out I feel like I'm missing a lot. There is a lot to take in here. Okay, am I looking faster? I feel a little bit faster with those new courier legs. There is a little uh, red target over there. Just a little casual bridge over the void. Where am I going to go? The exit's over there, but something over here I should check out. from me. Puny human tanks and vehicles. Alright, what is this? It was on the mech here a minute ago too, wasn't there? Uh, it's scrap. Okay. Moving along. Should I go for that target? Provoke the ace. Liberate the village and destroy the checkpoints. Now my optional objectives. Might as well stick around and try and complete something. Who is doing that? not good. I'll start kicking. I'll start kicking. Oh, it's 
you. Who's doing that? What have we got? A drill lance, scrap metal, component crates. Gimme, 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 gimme. Inventory. Okay. So did that provoke the ace? Now I'm two for three. Or two out of three, rather. Might as well check out these other points of interest. Hello there. Why am I wasting my ammo when I can stop and kick? Doesn't seem to do me any harm to do that. Clear in the area. Is there more? Kick down the tower, no worries. Okay, 5,000 credits for that, and 50 reputation. Still a couple of uh, points of interest. I want to provoke the ace. Quite sure what that will mean for me. Uh oh, move, move, move. It's a bit rude. Just trying to loot. Uh, Gremlin, laborer. I think I'm good anyway, actually. So, how am I provoking the ace here? Destroying this? Resistance unit is stationed at this thermal plant, awaiting a drop of thermal cells. Signaling the drop will alert Millennium Company forces in orbit. Installing all cells will gain you favor with the resistance. Hell yeah. Stop that. I'm gonna kick you. I'm gonna kick you. Idiot. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna take that. Might as well drop the lance. I'll come back for it. So I'm loading them into this thing in the middle. If I survive long enough. That is. Reload. What's that ominous red skull over there? 
sure it's nothing. Take those. Get away. Alright, that job's done. Are you my friend? No. Evidently, that was not my friend. <laughs> was that the A's that I was provoking? Why would I provoke him? He kicked my ass. Anyway. Well, that's interesting. That was, um... Yeah, a little... Took me a little while to get into the swing of things. There's a lot to take in, but, uh... It's quite satisfying. I like the customization. I like fighting for parts and, and scrapping... Uh, trapping together what you can find and trying to build a, a better unit and um, the sort of exploration and, and just working out these little mini what do you call them like side side tasks on the way out of the missions uh, it's pretty good fun so as I said this one's the demo uh, it is available on Steam now I will leave a link to this one in the description below if you'd like to check it out and maybe pop it on your wish list it comes out in quarter four 2024 so thank you for watching. I want to leave it there. Uh, I do cover lots of indie games and VR games. So if you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And if you have any game suggestions that you'd like me to check out, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.